Hi, I'm Ilya, CEO and co-founder of BitScout. And in this video, I wanted to reveal for you a new version of uh, BitScout that we uh, will roll out in coming days. And just to show you a couple of differences that uh, we introduced and so it won't be scary for you uh, to work with it. So this is our current version. You all know that. Uh, you can create a model. Uh, then let me move myself here. Then there are many items and it's uh, kind of does its job but that's not the best way to categorize things so we notice that our users are confused a little bit and for example with text creation and because the data from extraction is hidden here and what is that unstructured text etc so we decided to change that and um, we created a new interface that looks like this uh, so first, a very important change that happened. Now you have templates library. And over time, we're going to be adding more and more templates. So for instance, if you are looking to extract data from business card, you don't have to create a plugin anymore. You go to template and you choose it here. And there are a couple of more. And as I said, we're going to be adding more uh, templates. And when you create a plugin, you can also submit it as a template. So this is a very important change uh, that will help you um, stop wasting your time on, on creating something all, all over again. Like in voices, it's everybody is using that and that's it. All right. Now, how does the plugins creation look like? Now there is no workflows, no yeah, models, no outputs. Everything is called the plugin and that's it. It's just a closed entity now, plugin and nothing else. And when you click here, this is a list of my plugins. And uh, when you create the plugin, now you have a simple choice. Do you want to extract something? Do you want to understand something or compare something? We're going to add forecast a little bit later here. Okay. So it's like I, whatever it is, email, whatever, if you want to extract information from the email, you still go here. But then the next step is whether it's file or text. Email is a tricky thing. It can be a file or text. You can use both ways. Our system dynamically detects what you want to do. But for instance, if you have um, an email um, with trip requests and you want to extract using examples, you go to here and the examples are in a custom selection. Okay. Now from file, very simple. You load the file. The system will load an example and then you just need to refresh a list if you want to get uh, forms, fields. Okay, here they are. And uh, if you want to get tables, same thing, you can refresh it. I think we have only one table here. Yes. Okay, this, this one. Or you can use a custom selection where you can just select things you want. Like before. And, uh, and that's it. Now the next step is, so let me select something. The next step is an optional um, output. Okay, if you use Make and Zapier, you don't need that. It's very, uh, you, you can skip this step. But if you use Monday or Asana or any other tool where we are a plugin, you need to select here an application. So for instance, if I'm using Monday, then I'll select Monday and then a project. Um, let me select. Uh, custom documents you can do search of your projects okay here it is finish and now what you need to do is you, you just need to drag and drop fields here that's it then on the next step you tell the name the description and you can add tags and that's how it works very straightforward and allows you to create everything in one go I hope it will help you create more plugins. In any case, uh, feel free to send us any questions and uh, I would be happy to help you via chat on the platform or via email. Thanks a lot and see you around.